move over Nutella. There's a new kid on the block. Hey guys, it's Robin and welcome back to the science of self-care. I have such an amazing video for you today. This is one of my all time favorite recipes and it's also one of my most popular recipes, especially with people in my life who may have a sweet tooth. I'm recording this on my new microphone, which is very exciting. So if you enjoy this sound and the style of video, which is a little bit more of a voiceover, let me know. I'm tempted to even do a little ASMR because I personally love watching ASMR, but uh, maybe that's, that's something for a future video. <laughs> so this recipe, I call it my healthy brownie spread. It doesn't have the best name. So if there's anyone who can think of a better name for this, please leave a comment, but you'll see why I call it a brownie spread. It's fluffy, it's creamy, it's whipped, even without actually whipping anything. And it's made with whole food ingredients. The only sweetness that's added is a bit of honey and you are in total control of how much honey you wanna add. So it's a healthy, alternative to Nutella and honestly it tastes so much better so I'm just really excited to share this with you guys anyone can make this you don't have to be a chef let's just get straight into this healthy brownie spread recipe to start off you're gonna need a few ingredients cocoa powder just plain cocoa powder you're gonna need a nut or seed butter of your choice. Today I'm actually using tahini, which some people might think is very strange to add to chocolate, but I promise it's really yummy. I also love to use cashew butter, almond butter, any nut or seed butter will work for this recipe. You're also gonna want a little bit of water. Uh, you're gonna need coconut oil that is melted, so either pre-melt it or you can live in an extremely hot apartment without air conditioning in the summer like me and my coconut oil is ready to go then you're gonna need honey and salt is optional but i highly recommend adding a little pinch of salt so something very special about this recipe is it's a one tablespoon recipe everything in the recipe has a one to one to one to one to one ratio of a single tablespoon obviously if you want to make more you can <laughs> make this with two tablespoons or three or if you want to make less you could even make it with one teaspoon the nice thing about this recipe is that it's just a one-to-one -one ratio across all ingredients except for salt salt is optional but i always like to add a pinch of salt to mine it just makes it so much more flavorful so let's get started this healthy brownie spread is really so easy as mixing everything in a bowl. Firstly, you're gonna wanna make sure your coconut oil is melted. That will allow you to mix this a little bit more easily and it'll also let some of the flavors melt together. After you have your coconut oil warm and ready, we're gonna add one heaping, heaping, heaping tablespoon of cacao. I like to go crazy on this. You can make it as chocolatey as you want, but I recommend a heaping tablespoon spoon of cacao and you're also gonna add one tablespoon of honey I don't go too crazy on the honey because I don't like things overly sweet but just add as much as you like I think one tablespoon is perfect for this recipe and then you're just gonna mix you're gonna mix this warm coconut oil with the honey and the cacao and it's gonna turn into a little bit of a chocolatey sauce that already honestly is delicious but we're gonna keep going mix 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 the next thing we're gonna add is our tablespoon of nut or seed butter it's gonna add a nice dimension to this and a nice creaminess it's also gonna add a nice source of fiber fat and protein to this healthy brownie spread what i love so much about this brownie spread is that you feel satiated after eating it but you don't feel heavy or like you have a stomach ache so you could honestly eat this for breakfast on top of protein pancakes and you would feel good for the rest of the day that's how good the ingredients are and the nut and seed butter is part of what makes this such a solid recipe enough rambling next I'm gonna add now a pinch of sea salt just add a pinch and then we're gonna do this little secret hack that I don't even remember how I accidentally discovered this but it's it's what gives this brownie spread a brownie texture. We're now gonna add about a tablespoon of water. You can also eyeball it and see how it turns out. Adding water is what's gonna make this fluffy and whipped. And I think part of the reason this works is that honey is a humectant. So by adding water to the cacao powder and the honey, it kind of just fluffs up. I'm, I need to look more into the chemistry of this, but I think it has something to do with the humectant properties of honey. It becomes a little bit less of a sauce and more of a brownie spread. So literally that is it. 
I'm going to take this very boring epitome of what a plain diet food is and we're going to deck it out and make it a treat, a snack, a chocolatey delight. I also am going to top it with some pomegranate seeds and some coconut shreds. And here we have just a delicious rice cake. And again, rice cakes are boring and honestly not filling. This single rice cake will satisfy every craving you have. It will keep you full for hours. So yummy. <laughs> I mean, I'm really not being dramatic. It really is that good. Just try it. Try making this recipe this week and you'll see. But you know, the this brownie spread should not be limited to rice cakes. This is also a great topping for protein pancakes, for an oat bowl, for even fruit. It's actually incredibly healthy. Cacao is full of antioxidants and I'm gonna make another video on cocoa cacao very soon. I've made one in the past, but this is one of my personal favorite ways to enjoy cacao. This is delicious. And if you want that Nutella flavor with the hazelnut, make this with hazelnut butter. It's a sweet recipe that is going to be kind on your blood sugar keep you really full and energize you, which is not something you can always say about sweets. So I hope you try this. If you do, please let me know what you thought. And I would love if you can share down below what you are going to put your brownie spread on. So let's inspire each other to eat healthy and enjoy it in the process. You know, eating a healthy whole foods diet does not have to be boring. It does not have to be restrictive. It can be so decadent and enjoyable and fun. All right, guys, that was a quick, healthy recipe for today. If you enjoy this type of video, I would love to make more of these. I actually really like doing voiceovers, and I will see you very soon. Kisses. Bye.